What is up, guys? We are here at Pinnacle Performance with the main man, Joe Sullivan, which you guys, if you don't know, see, the crazy thing about me is I knew who you were based on that squat video where the yeah. bar's bending, which I'll put right now. We have a lot of mutual friends and I was told that this is the place to train. There are some other big name gyms in Ohio, but this is the gym that I'm at. And we're gonna get a gym tour by him. He's gonna tell us all the things, the good, the nasty, and everything. We're just talking about clenching buttholes. It, it already started off in a, in a good, uh, was, good no, note. No, it was spreading butt cheeks. Uh, spreading and butt cheeks buttholes. and clenching buttholes. There we go. Uh, so. What is up, dude? Hey man. So I'm really glad you guys can come to the gym today. It's been hectic as fuck just because we've had drug tested nationals in here and we've had a bunch of visitors more than normal. I have a general, uh, real good flow throughout the day uh, on a normal day. Then we are called Pinnacle Performance. We're the pinnacle of training in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm confident in saying that. And you just said it, so <laughs> woo. Let's go. But you know, like because of that, we've had a lot of people come by, and it's great. We're just a little busy today and I'm actually trying to train at some point so that's the hardest part squatting uh, seven, 722 three sets of one six second eccentric on squats it's gross disgusting yeah it's gross it's fine it's nasty shit show us yeah. all the fine tools and people that you have here maybe the people so are the tools the, pe the people the, there are some tools but there's some good good pieces of equipment too so I was just talking shit about these guys these all these dudes are OSU students they all live together it's hilarious because whenever they show up to the gym it's like a fucking and clown car because like six of them would be a lot of the same car. but we got 60 feet of turf you know we have a lot of conditioning stuff in here dragging and pulling sled or dragging and pushing sleds machines in the center deadlift platforms competition equipment two sets of kilos anything you could need but like again that's not the that's not the cool thing about this gym the gym the gym is made by the community and i'm i'm really really proud of what we have here just because like, everybody is generally friends with one another. The training IQ in this gym is unlike any other. Like co the coaches have coaches that coach people in here. And it's just, it's, it's very, very cool. Cause like, even when I'm not here and I can't critique like Tyler or Janice or fucking anybody or any of the kids, I know that one of, one of my people is doing the same thing. Like we all look out for one so another. Joe, what's your max squat you've ever hit? Uh, in training, it doesn't matter. Uh, in wraps, 905. So, um, as a 905 lifter, you're telling me that you have a coach? Yeah, yeah. This is blowing my mind right no, now. Wait, no. what? Yeah, nah, man. Like, I'm, I'm too neurotic to run my own training. I either think too much or think too little. Because whenever... I, th I really do believe, like, the best... And it's it's not not a thing where, like... Because my coach is Scott Miller. He's out in Las Vegas, part of Strong House Project. He's not... He's... He's more of a consultant. Like he writes what I do and then we have a conversation and like we adjust things and I think this is gonna be a little bit better, this might be a little bit better, whatever, whatever. Cause I told you earlier, my first competition was in 2007. I've been doing this literally over half my life now. So it's, I know what I'm doing, but sometimes you just need a little bit of separation. Cause if it was up to me, all I would do is squat. If it was up to somebody who's trying to help me build the biggest total out there, I deadlift twice a week and I bench three times a week and I squat, I only squat heavy heavy every, heavy for me, because it is 722, but this is technically a down week. Um, heavy every fourth session. So it's just kind of waving like that. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's, it's just conversation, you know. Right, but, so we got the turf over yep, here. Turf. Okay, what else we got? We got some combat dumbbells. ropes, dumbbell ropes, dumbbells, uh, rubber dumbbells for over here, because we do do group classes and whatnot. Got to keep the lights on. Uh, but we have kettlebells. Log over here, we have a bit of strongman equipment. We have the Titan log, some, some of those Atlas stone sandbags, farmer's handles. We own uh, the gravel lot next door, so we drag the stuff over there sometimes. Uh, just general shit. We have soft tissue stuff. If you're familiar with uh, Kabuki strength, they have the boom stick and the shoulder rock. We have a lot of that, along with the sew right and whatever the fuck else. You know, just random stuff, heavy bag. I have random dudes that come. We are, we're actually next to the art, art district. And we have a lot of artists that come in and just like do random stuff in here, so it's cool. But, yeah, and that's 
touching on that too, like the actual location of the gym is really, really interesting. It's unlike any other because we have a lot of power lifters are generally described as like the classic angry fat white dude. You know, like, fuck you, Ohio against the world, whatever the fuck else. But, like, we have Tibetan prayer flags in here. Those are actually from Nepal. My co-owner uh, actually climbed uh, Everest last year and blew his fucking knee up, which is disgusting. Yeah. But um, we're right we're right next to a seeing eye dog uh, facil- or training facility, so they'll actually train them out there. And there's actually a Buddhist temple that is getting built right next door. So it's a very odd odd yeah, kind really of get everybody. yeah you know but it's it's really really cool you know belt squat we have a stairmaster so did, did this it's it's really great but Actually, really, like, yeah, yeah no it, well, it, it kicks my fucking yeah. ass but you know combo racks because we have a lot of people huge contingency of members that compete in powerlifting or train like powerlifters we have the two kilo two kilo sets competition combo racks we got that uh competition bench with the pinnacle performance logo on it from ghost now just steel dumbbells over here general stuff we got the reverse hyper because we are in columbus so you have to have a fucking reverse hyper glute ham raise um and just a variety of stuff you know like we actually have cardio equipment we have some uh treadmills spin bikes uh concept two rower biggest thing is the turf though just because if you push and pull the sled for 10 minutes you're gonna be more fucked up than you will be after anything else yeah but but yeah really like i could i could keep talking about the equipment but the best thing about this gym is the community like the people make it and there's no doubt about that because like i know a lot of these guys are guests like most of the people in the center here but really we just have the ipod with uh spotify premium and whatnot everybody walks around with no headphones on we all have conversations we all hang out but yeah we got we have really really cool people and like that's that's the biggest thing you know and when i when i when tim and i came together to like make this into what it was that was the whole intent it wasn't so much to like make like a place where we're making a shitload of money doing this and then like we're gonna fucking retire and live live the life of luxury and whatever it's like i just don't want to work that hard i don't want to like i do but i don't want to have to feel like i'm killing myself for just money you know and by building this community it's like it really fucking further or uh solidifies that point if you love what you do you don't really go to work every day but the x or the additional part the addendum to that is it's not like you're going to work but it's like you have a giant fucking child that you have to keep after because i'm in here and like i see shit like get moved around and like there's some stuff like the dip station is left on the floor and like who fuck did that and it's fine it's fine but i'm like (laughs) I feel myself getting more and more neurotic and I'm like these motherfuckers I'm like there's shit in the toilet and I'm like not your fucking dad but I do make I I do joke and I probably shouldn't but I make people call me daddy in here but it's fine yeah exactly but I'm probably just gonna squat right there I don't know I figured we're gonna go through the uh the sumo the sumo lesson later but um yeah I appreciate you guys stopping in you know yeah what are some of the you know, I know everything has a purpose, but what would you say are the most essential pieces of equipment outside of barbells and plates mm-hmm. that you have in your gym? So the gym owner is like, all right, Joe, like, what, mm-hmm. what are some of the big key things that you would invest in for your gym if you were in strength sports? What would you call it? In, in strength sports, or like it would determine what the person wants to uh, specialize in because, like, we, it, you can tell. I didn't, we didn't outfit this place with, like, we didn't just go through uh, Rogue. We didn't just go through Ghost. We didn't just go through Elite FTS. We didn't just go through one place. We wanted to keep it not all encompassing because if you get if you get too much of a market, you're not narrow enough to attract anybody when there's specialty gyms out there. But you want to broaden your horizons just enough so that you can have, like I said, large contingency of power lifters in here because we have the combo rack the kilo plates, the good barbells and all that stuff. But we also have bodybuilder competitors, physique competitors. Uh, I have two competitive CrossFit people. I have two uh, roller derby girls. I have three, uh, fuck, what is it? Ultimate Frisbee dudes, you know? And it's like the turf allows us to have a lot more conditioning stuff. You do want to have some level of cardio equipment in here just because people are, people do that shit, you know? And it's like even power lifters generally do that shit. But, um, you know, it's the biggest thing is what is the most bang for your buck, you know, because you don't want to you don't want to drop like two hundred thousand dollars on equipment and then specialize yourself so deep that you only have 12 powerlifters that want to join your gym. 
you're gonna you're not gonna survive. You want to have stuff that is going to be either multi-purpose or effective or easy enough to use for just the general member that you can have the general member come in, but also have the dude who's trying to break world records come in and thrive as well. So yeah. Um, really just stuff you stuff that you can get a lot of use out of. Like combo racks are awesome if people know how to use combo racks. Power racks are awesome if people like if you don't necessarily want to go full competition specific. Um, yeah, that's really the biggest thing. Just stuff you need to know your audience and then you just need to focus on the audience. So that's gonna determine it. Yeah. What makes the community culture uh, what it is? Where does that come from? And where, how do you embody that in Um really it's I have always well like I live I live by the live learn pass on. This is the motto of Elite FTS. I, I'm a former sponsored athlete, former columnist, and I have so much love for Dave Day. Like I he I wouldn't be who I am without that guy. And I, it's live, learn, and pass on. This is a portion of the passing on. If you realize, and I get goosebumps think, thinking about it. If, yeah, it's, exactly. It's, if you realize that like you're not permanent, how much you lift is not going to fucking matter. I break these world records, nobody's going to give a fuck in 10 years. My, like my, my girlfriend might, my dad might, but nobody, that, nobody who's anybody other than in close proximity is. But people will remember how you make them feel and what they learn from you. And I always describe myself as no matter what what I am, what I'm doing, whether it's lifting or training or competing or coaching, I'm a teacher. And I want to, a, 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 true, a true teacher, I really believe, wants to make other teachers. Leaders lead leaders. And we, I, and I say we, I don't want to be like self-aggrandizing, but it's like, if you are a good leader, other leaders will come from you. And I, that's, that's been the driving factor in doing all of this. And I'm really confident in, in the fact that I've done that because I can list people in here that coach others. You know, I can list people in here that I have sent people just because like ta they, they're dealing with, the same, with this same issue. And it really, it really is about leadership. It's not just like the one leader that does it but it's the people that you surround yourself with, it's the people that you ally yourself with, and it's the people that you learn from. And that's why I'm so fortunate for Dave and Chris Duffin and my, my own father, you know, whoever has come before me, and Tim. I'm grateful for these guys because it's, it's the teaching, the living and leaving a legacy that isn't about tangible shit that you leave behind. It's how you can teach someone, how, how you can make someone feel, and then how they can go on further and do that with other people before you. And that's the ripple effect that makes you fucking last forever. Before we get to training, all right, I want you to plug yourself. Um, so just Joe Sullivan Powerlifter on all social media, uh, Instagram uh, and whatever else. I have joesullivanpowerlifting.com. That's where I do my coaching and sell the apparel and all that stuff. And you can find me in Columbus, Ohio at Pinnacle Performance, Ohio. I'm here all the goddamn time, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for being here, man.